Hey guys, so today we're gonna to take a look at the Varavon Birdie Cam Lite. This is the new three axis gimbal from Varavon. As you know, I've been a big supporter of the original Birdie Cam. It's been my workhorse gimbal for a lot of my shoots. It's, the original is really lightweight, very portable. And this version seems to be even smaller, more portable and has better motors. So we're just gonna unbox it and see what's inside here. The box alone um, weighs, I'd say three pounds, or just over three pounds. And so we'll open it. It comes in its own carrying case. It's a really nice carrying case. It has a strap over here. The thing about uh, Varavon is their, their quality is always awesome. The original Birdie Cam had a carrying case as well. Uh, I eventually swapped that out for a Pelican, but in terms of just having something simple to carry around uh, before you actually put it into a hard case is, is really nice that they provide that for you. So that's awesome. Let's see what's in the carrying case. Looks like we have our handles here. That's cool. Uh, this is nice. The, uh, the handles come off. Super modular. Um, interesting pattern. I want to assume that this is the top. Or maybe it's the stand, actually. Let's see. Yeah, this would be the top piece. <clears throat> These would be the stand accessories. Put this over here. Let's assemble the stand first. So this is very similar to the original, um, except that these swivel out, the feet swivel out, which is interesting. It's kind of cool design. So this opens up. that end on, screw this end on. Just the feet to level. Really cool. And then these go up here. And there you go. I guess I gotta tighten these screws on the bottom there. But we'll put this aside and we'll open up the actual gimbal. Okay, so it looks like we have a remote. Here's the remote. Joystick, I mean. 
Okay, and this is the mount for the joystick. USB cable. So this is really cool. The actual mounting plate looks to be like it's uh, Manfrotto compatible, which is, which is awesome. Very cool. All right, so we'll take the gimbal out. <clears throat> I'm really impressed by how compact this system is, how modular this system is. All right, so here it is. Wow, this is a very light, a very light piece of equipment here. I wonder if I'm missing anything else. Oh, there's a zipper here, okay. Uh, that is the charger and the battery. What's this? Ah, tools. This bag is a really cool bag, I gotta say. Really impressed by the packaging here. Okay, so we'll put this bag down. Okay, so here is the top handle is really nice. You have a bunch of quarter 20 uh, mounting holes on the top and you have your cold shoe. Okay now to assemble the birdie cam light. First we take this rod, this will be the top rod, and we screw it together. And then this rod goes through the top handle, and the top handle should have the shoe mount facing you. So you just insert it through here. And notice you have these Allen screws. So it's not a completely toolless design, but that's fine. So you just insert the rod through here. And if you need to, you just loosen up some of the screws. through and I'm not sure if you could see that but um, basically you align this red piece right here into the middle of the top handle so you just line that up get that straight and then you tighten up your allen screws So now that you have this assembled, we will uh, put on the handles. And I like to have my um, I like to have my screws facing me. So we'll just kind of loosely put that on because we'll probably have to readjust it. And then we'll take the stand and we'll put the handles on the stand. Okay, so the next step is to get your handles straight and to get your top handle flat. So just loosen up these side handles and you want to make sure the bar is even, has equal spacing. And then you want to get this thing straight and flat. You don't want it tilted um, in either direction. So you want to get this flat. You want to look maybe on the side here. Yep, that looks good. And then you just tighten up your handles, your handle screws. Okay, so the next step is to attach the actual gimbal and you'll notice over here um, 
basically this is how it's supposed to face it's supposed to face this way and then there's going to be a little bit of like a top arrow and you want to just make sure it's facing this side over here and basically you just insert it on the top and then there's going to be a screw back here that you tighten okay so you get that tight right there and now the gimbal is attached okay so uh, after that you want to put the remote on um, the remote is really cool because it's it's uh, it's wireless, so you could actually detach this and remotely control the, uh, the gimbal. So that's a really cool option. Um, it's a shoe mount, as you can see. And basically, you get this little shoe mount adapter, and you're gonna wanna put it over here on the side, um, on the side of the handle. I like to put it on towards my right hand so I can quick, quickly make adjustments. So I'm just gonna screw that in over here and get that even. And then I'll put this remote on this side and tighten it up like so. So that feels good. Okay. Next, uh, we're gonna put the battery on. And what's cool about the, uh, the Birdie Cam light is that the battery no longer sits on, um, on the top over here, like in the original Birdie Cam, but it actually sits inside of the, on the, on the base of where the camera is. So that's an interesting, really interesting design. I think it's, uh, it distributes the weight a lot better, I think. Um, because uh, everything is situated on the bottom. So basically you put the battery in over here. There's a little holder for it right here. You can adjust it using this screw. And you'll see the power wire is right here, conveniently located right next to it. And you basically plug it in like that. Okay, and again, you have this Manfrotto base plate, which is awesome. So you could actually pop it off here and then throw it right on a tripod. So that's really convenient. That's a really smart move on Bar Barabon to do that. And you just slide it in here and you can make your adjustments. And that's pretty much it. Um, the next video I do, we'll, we'll put the camera on and we'll do some tests, but I just wanted to show you guys how quickly it takes to assemble this. And, you know, this is a really, really lightweight, super lightweight compared to the Birdie Cam, the original Birdie Cam. This is something that I could uh, easily take on trips and traveling. Um, as I mentioned, the case is really small and compact. And it's just, it's, this, this I feel is what makes using a gimbal special, that you can actually transport it, you can hold it for long periods of time. And I found using the bigger gimbals that I would just be more concerned, it became more of an endurance challenge than actually uh, framing and, and composing an actual nice shot or nice scene using motion. It was just more about, oh, how, how long can I hold this thing without getting tired? So this, this sort of gimbal, this lightweight gimbal, and I think these are getting more popular, starting with the Ronin M. Um, I think Defy has one, uh, Came TV has one, but um, I think that, uh, as far as I can tell right now, that Baravon really took some of the, kind of took their time with something like this, didn't rush the product out. And I feel like this, this will probably be my main uh, workhorse gimbal and, and, and might potentially replace my original Birdie Cam. We'll see. But uh, so far, so good. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll actually take this thing out on the field. If you have any questions or comments, hit me on the blog. 
runplayback.com.